Hey everybody, welcome back. Time for some more job post goodness. Uh, here's a good one. It's for an HR leader role. Client is a small, fast... Oh, sorry, recruiter is posting this. Those are even better. Uh, client is a small, fast-paced, privately held financial services firm that is currently in growth mode. So they finally realize that they have more work than people and they should probably get around to maybe hiring somebody. The firm seeks excellence in serving their clients and customers. That's good to know because uh, I would hope that most organizations want excellence for their customers and their employees. But as we both know, it's not usually the case. They believe in taking care of the people they work with who are an integral part to their success. Yeah, they threw that one in to say that we are a positive workplace culture. The human resource leader functions as a member of the community's management team. Ooh, that's, yeah, finally HR gets to play in management. That's an interesting concept. Uh, embodies its culture of teamwork, flexibility, which means you're going to be working crazy hours, service excellence, and resourcefulness, which means you're going to have to pull stuff out of your ass from time to time to do whatever it takes to be effective in meeting the mission. Now, of course, in the job description, the mission is not listed. Uh, so <laughs> good luck with that. Uh, they are in a period of infrastructure refinement in response to rapid growth. So that's good. So it sounds like and smells like it could be a startup, which is always fun. Uh, the HR leader will plan, lead, direct, develop, and coordinate the policies, activities, and staff of the HR department. So in other words, you're starting off from scratch. So if you're in an HR role, before you take this one, make sure you grab all your policies and procedures and HR manuals, you know, the digital copies, of course, and uh, somehow file those away, because my hunch is you're going to have to reinvent them again and again and again. That's a pro tip for anybody that works in HR. Any policies or procedures that you do, uh, maybe keep a copy of those because as you proceed through your career, you will be doing those policies, procedures again and again and again and again and again. So just pro tip. Uh, the skills, yeah, meet deadlines, time management skills, prioritize tasks and delegate when appropriate. Hmm. Again, I love the vagueness of this one. This is good. Uh, you partner with the leadership team to understand and execute the organization's HR and talent strategy. Well, as HR, shouldn't you be the one to implement what that strategy is? Just saying. Um, administrators, or excuse me, administers the administration of human resources programs, but not limited to. That's a good one. That means whatever they decide to throw at you, you're going to get doing it. Uh, da, 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 you do this, maintain compliance, yeah, all the legalese that they need to throw in there. So that was an interesting one. But the beautiful thing about this particular one, uh, and there's another one that comes up this as well, I believe, in the list of jobs that I'm going to be posting today, or discussing today, I should say. Um, the organization name is Confidential. Um, so they don't want you to know who they are, which means one of two things. Number one, it truly is a new role. Or B, there's somebody that's currently in this role, and they don't want to know that they're about to get got. Good times in that particular city, which I'm not going to mention. Okay, next one. Oh, another HR-related one. Uh, da, 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 another uh, recruiting firm. Looking for a director of comp and Benny's and HR systems. Uh, rapidly growing manufacturer. Okay, here we go, another one. They're growing, so they finally decided, you know what, maybe we should have an HR person around. <laughs> I love these places. Um, lead the payroll, HRS, that's all good. 10 to 15 years experience, strong customer service. Yeah, you got to be a people person, uh, especially when you're working with people. You should probably be able to deal with people. Uh, it's not required, but it would help. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, we're going to do rapid fire today on this one. This one I like. Tell us your story. Don't go unnoticed. Explain why you're the winning candidate. Uh, <laughs> they, they obviously had the marketing people come over for this one uh, because it, it's got branding written all over it. Um, and then they go, it's a financial organization. I'm not going to mention which one. Um, but they strive to build deep and long-lasting relationships with its customers. Yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah. who's the name of your banker? Um, 
They're looking for brand champions, relationship builders, and leading professionals with an understanding of the market, market and economic trends that can build legendary customer experiences. Um, see, I use this thing for my banking, so I, I don't know who my banker is. Uh, my banker is iBinky. Um, anywho, that's a good one. Um, oh, I like the JD. It starts off, can you bring your charming self to work? So they're looking for a charmer. Okay, that could go a few different ways. Um, an all-around champion who can understand customer needs and advise the best suited financial solutions for a positive customer experience, which that means they want you to upsell like mad uh, because, well, those $14 a month bank fees aren't quite covering those gigantic monolith banks that they keep building. Uh, okay, final one, and this one is more about a job fair uh, that this organization is putting on and basically uh, the way that it's written and this organization has four out of five stars and they've got over 50,000 reviews so they seem to be doing something right or they're paying a lot of people to five star the place one out of two hard to tell um, but they're looking for full-time or part-time in a variety of roles and basically the the one <laughs> the one thing that uh, makes me giggle on this one is the dress code Dress code is casual. Come as you are, but please be presentable. <laughs> oh, there has to be a story behind that. I'm guessing somebody showed up in their birthday suit or maybe barely a birthday suit covering and um, applied for frontline work. Who knows? It's all good in the hood. Anyway, uh, I just want to drop that off for you today. Um, hope you're doing well. Enjoy this Mercury retrograde that we're currently going through. Cheers.